Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stock My Closet. Today I'm sharing stitching of round yoke halter top. I've shared its cutting in my previous video. To check it out, please click the link in the description box or in the i button on the screen. Firstly, I'll finish armholes on both sides using bias tape. Place the bias tape on the right side of the bodies and make a stitch. Now turn it around like this and make a stitch on the inner edge So I made a stitch, now I'll trim the excess fabric and this is how it will look. Now fold the bias tape towards the wrong side and make the final stitch to secure it. Similarly, I'll finish other armholes. So I have finished armholes on both sides. Now I'll finish the bottom round. Just double fold the fabric and make a stitch. Similarly, I'll finish the other side. I have finished bottom round. Now I'll stitch side fitting seam on both sides. Similarly, I'll stitch the other side. So bodice is ready. Now to finish the yoke, 
I've cut facing from the same fabric. I have folded an iron bottom side seam allowance of the yoke. Now I'll make a stitch on the shoulder slope on both yoke and the facing. Keep the seam open and overlock it. I folded and ironed the outer seam allowance on the yoke. Now match front and back of both yoke and facing right sides together and pin it up. Now I'll make a stitch on the inner circle. So I have stitched it. Make small cuts all around and turn inside out. So I have ironed it and this is how it will look. Now I will attach yoke with the bodies. I have made center tuck on the yoke as well as bodies. Now join facing with the wrong side of the bodies, match the center and pin it up. Similarly pin up the back neckline. Now I will make a stitch, if you want you can pin up the whole round. So I have stitched it. Keep the seam allowance direction inwards and I'll just make a basting stitch all around. 
so I made a basting stitch with the hand and now it's your choice if you want to make a top stitch using machine or you can do invisible hemming so my top is ready and this is how it looks you can make lots of variation in this top you can use embroidered or printed fabric for the yoke or you can use printed fabric for the bodies and plain contrast fabric for the yoke part so i hope you like this pattern and you will try it if you do please share it with us on facebook or instagram and thanks for watching guys hope you like this video if you do please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you soon till then take care bye bye